We've started to clean up a little bit of Mexico right now uh, with a war on Otomi, and we've declared uh, Zalisco as a co-belligerent. We're going to try to take as much stuff as we, as we possibly can. Is Otomi... No, Otomi didn't come to war against uh, British Mexico when they declared on Zalisco, so... We should be able to have no problems in finishing this war out. We're at 42% on the Otomi capital. How long until... We are currently sending a colonist to the Philippines. He'll arrive in a little under a year. How long do we have on that fifth colonist? I think it's still a long time. 1648? Yep, that's a significant amount of time, enough to do some stuff. Win the siege, please. Nope. And I didn't send the explorer out. Simulation in Suriname. Core province in Baton Rouge. Unhappiness among the artisans. Lose a ton of money or lose stability. <sighs> Take the stability hit. Siege. And I'm going to continue building trade depots. hopes that that will encourage global trade to spread in my land faster. We're kind of limping behind in that. It's already 1640 and we don't even have global trade embraced. Oh, that's getting really annoying. Okay, let's... I've been saying it for what seems like centuries now. I need to make... Oh, that's controlled by Tanal. I didn't even realize it. I need to make more forts. But it always seems like... First of all, let's increase this guy's skill by one. Uh, but it always seems like I've got... Stuff I would rather spend my money on. Would like to boost stability. before we end this war. And we'll do that at the end of this month. How long until... Oh, Japan's looking fairly unified. They're allied with Ryukyu. 247 days till our colonist arrives. We have a 99% war score right now. Local traders demand aid. I will give them 100 ducats, I guess. Uh, 
uh, general is actually really handy for sieging stuff down, so because we only take a minimal amount of attrition. A uh, lot of uh, the southern uh, Mexican and Central American provinces look like they have rebels in the form of some zealots and Miskito just has a bunch of separatist rebels. Uh, is Misco is Miskito allied or a rival to somebody? No, Me Dutch Mexico noble uprising. Dodge City. Really? That's annoying. I just hope they don't end up going to Sterling. We really catch them there. That's great. Cottage industry, base production in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and Mount Royal. Or we must get safeguard guild privileges. Uh, no. We'll take the base production. Uh, 285 to build... Wait, we can build a trade depot in Mexico because Mexico has the first level building yeah that would be why eh. I think Puerto Rico already has global trade what about Havana probably doesn't Jamaica almost definitely doesn't. Actually, Havana's pretty close. And Kingston is not. So if I built a trade depot anywhere in the Caribbean, it would be Kingston. That should be no contest, really. Reoccupy our stuff. Of course, they built ships or built troops just in time for us to not get them. Of course, this one's not moving away, so we might catch them, and we're probably going to now. All right. So this should be pretty much a hundred. Well, it won't be a hundred percent war score because we're we won't have the stuff that British Mexico occupies. At least I think that's going to be the case. And of course we are now trapped. Give me military access again, Yucatan. before we end this war. And I'm going to go ahead and build trade depot in Kingston.
Drunken Explorer. Great. Alright, well, that'll fix everything, I think. Let's cancel our military axis again. And start piecing out. Give me a bunch of money. Uh... Take as much of their money as we can get. And of course there's a possibility of a coalition, but I don't think that's going to be much of an issue, and I forgot to increase my stability. Which actually won't even go down that much. Has our overextension not kicked in yet? Let's do that then. Alright, that's that was convenient, I guess. And we'll start coring stuff. Still significantly head on admin, so we're good. And once these guys arrive in Liberal, we will Actually, once they reoccupy it, I should say, uh, we will move them back to Boston. I am going to upgrade Havana's port. Can I not? Oh, we're at war. Right. Can't do that while I'm at war. Oh, right. The war's not over. That would explain why that works. Tempted to not even take that Diplotech until we bring it uh, the cost back down by embracing global trade. Which, once, now that we've started building uh, or not supply depots uh, trade depots things should be speeding up and I need to Look at what's going to give me the biggest benefit. Philadelphia is one of them. Should probably go with New Orleans as well. Even though I think, yeah, that's due, mostly due to, due to autonomy that it's not as beneficial as it would be for Philadelphia. Okay, we've reoccupied Dodge City. Jacob Uxbridge is general. Okay. Send them back home. Uh, wait a minute. Great Britain has attacked Holland for St. Thomas. Native Assimilation Taglock. Alright, uh, I should probably send some troops over to watch that, huh? 
before natives rise up and damage the colony. We should also have... Two new transports. We're going to bring down to crossways with the others. Oh, we can actually access the Brazil node right now, but can't actually steer the trade from the Brazil node toward us. We can access the Peru. Oh, okay, we never mind. We have a merchant down there already. So let's go for the Amazon node. And we'll transfer trade to the Caribbean. in 14 days, new settlement, base tax in Pine Bluff. Dispute affecting governments. The republics are successful when the important f families are ready to put the republic's uh, interests on par with their own. Currently our republican traditions are under pressure and families are putting their own interests ahead of, our, of the republics. This is hurting our ability to govern as consensus is harder to achieve. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is a paradox event or if this is a uh, an extended timeline event, but there are two possessive grammatical errors here. This is a republic that should not have an apostrophe, and this one should have a an apostrophe. Why is... Why is it both are wrong? I could understand if one of them was wrong. But... I don't know. And... I think we are good on exploration. Pretty much forever. Also, New Zealand is completely uncolonized right now. I could do it. Let's bring this guy back to the main fleet. I would rather have them go to Boston than anywhere else. Actually. Yeah, whatever. So now we're in, we've got a little bit of admin debt. There's some gems. After I embrace cl uh, global trade, I will, well, maybe. I was thinking I'd stop build, that's when I'd stop building trade depots, but that might not even be the way to go. Oh, the trade depot doesn't even affect it. Unless I get the trade power up to a certain point. Okay. Oh, it's... Okay, stuff needs to be a level 2 or higher. That's what it is. Need 800 there. Let's 
let's go with upgrading the port in Havana. I think we'll upgrade the one in Pittsburgh as well. Oh, that's almost done, so... How does that... Does that affect my trade power at all in the Caribbean? A little bit. getting close to being able to embrace printing press like uh, if we had a bunch of money independence guaranteed by Tilapanik Tilapanik is the one that has all of the huge vassals Taraskin has no allies And nothing protecting it. Yogatan's the one allied to Castile. Miskato has no allies. I suppose I could do something with that. Let's go ahead and start fabricating on both of them. I don't know if Miskato will be in one piece after too long. But uh, now that I think about it, I don't want to send. I want to send a colonist there. I want to send the colonist up here. So those two can't be colonized for a long time. So I have to come around Lake Reindeer. We're basically going to try to block off the as much of the interior of the... the of North America as we can from any expansion attempts. And that's our, going to be our general colonization as far as our home territory goes. Philadelphia is almost done with their trade depot. How much trade power does Philadelphia have right now? 18? Okay, how much does Boston have? If the burgers were loyal... Okay, now they're loyal. I could make them unloyal, disloyal again. Alright, well... So 
So global trade should be moving quicker now, right? Okay, apparently they have to be very loyal. Promising trader. A skill two trader who is cheaper to hire. Yep. And we'll even upgrade him to a level three. Guys converted. Let's continue just moving along slowly. And still building buildings. Oh, I forgot, I also have uh, the Cayman Islands, don't I? It does suck that Great Britain has a significant amount of the trade power in the Caribbean. We have 72% in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Our flagship also helps with that. Oh, that's the army. Whoops. Combine the navies up again. St. Lawrence. Making 50 ducats a month right now. Wait a minute. Taraskin just insulted me. Okay. I'd say that was a mistake. Where's... What other provinces does Taraskin have cores on? Just those two. So we're going to subjugate them. Several other, or we need a lot more admin points in order to finish the course. What? Didn't I have a CB on them? Or did that say that the CB expired? Alright, well, I guess we'll wait for a claim instead. isn't in the state right now. Sorry, that's why I can't upgrade that. I'd really like to upgrade this, but I'm not sure if that would be the great greatest idea. Bob 
Boston's already a level two. Mount Royal's a level two. We're already moving most of the trade the way we want it in Ohio, so I don't see upgrading Pittsburgh as a major concern right now. Whereas, I think Kingston's probably the best way to go. Oh, it's not a state yet. Fine. Cayman Islands. Francis Carlton. Francis Carlton is considered by many as one of the greatest li uh, living artists of our time. A, a number of his works rank among the most famous in existence. His efforts will be admired throughout the nation. Reduction. We could have used that a while ago. Of course, that would have brought our stability up by one, and then... Oh, well. We're at, a plus, we're at a two stability now, so... And we were just about to run out of uh, fervor, so... Saves us from losing that stability we have. And in a couple months, we'll be able to fabricate a claim on Terraskin. So maybe Pittsburgh, not a bad idea to upgrade the trade node there, or the center of trade there, even though that would give us more pool in Louisiana, slightly, I think. There's an idea, actually. Oh wait, Puerto Rico's not in the state, is it? No. I think Greater Antilles needs to be a state, though. Anyway, uh... Nah, it's not a state either. Yeah, let's go with Pittsburgh, I guess. Portugal has popularization, popularization of silk fabrics. This one fabricated claims on me. And France has announced me as their new rival. Really, France? Really? Great Britain doesn't consider me a rival anymore? They still hate me, but they don't consider me a rival. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and fabricate our claim. Doesn't really matter what we fabricate on. We can just... Fabricate the claim, and then once our diplomat gets back, declare the war. They are not fans right now because of aggressive expansion. They're definitely not going to be fans after I do this, though. Oh, wait. Yokotan. Allied with Yokotan. Alright. Uh, I'm okay with that. Let's go step on their army. And then go step on the other army. Spices and tag lock. How much does it cost to upgrade this guy to level, or either of these guys to level 3? That's 300, that's 540. I should upgrade the trader to a level 3, honestly. Stop running around! It's getting annoying. Can 
take Diplotech, but I think doing that right now would be a waste of points. And I think next month is when I can, yeah, even though it's, yeah, I'm like, are you kidding me? We're 0.32 gold away, 0.32 gold away from being able to upgrade that guy. <clears throat> uh, that should consolidate. Goods produced. Extremely beneficial for us. People sampling new religions. Missionary strength at the cost of tech. I will actually take that. Colony of Suriname is finished. Two. Probably a scanny first, maybe. Okay, they have to go through Wichita to get there. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the scanny first. And now I can upgrade that trader. Also fabricate a claim on Miskato. Also doesn't matter what I fabricate on because again we're we're just going to subjugate them as well as uh, Taraskin. And we are Sterling is self-sustaining. So now he's on a two province patrol, pretty much. Not patrol. Uh, they're pretty much going to be uh, ping ponging between or along five provinces in a row. But, uh,. Oh yeah, we need to recall this diplomat and I'm going to end, episode, end the episode.